Hi friends, uh, welcome to our new video. And th in this video, we are going to discuss about the heuristic. Okay, so in the last uh, videos, we have discussed about the uninformed search techniques that is used in artificial intelligence. So you know what is an uninformed search? That is uninformed search means it uh, that is a blind search. That is no hints are given, no information. That is no information regarding the goal that is given. Okay, so uh, in informed before studying informed uh, search techniques, informed search algorithms you have to know what is heuristic okay what is heuristic why it is important in artificial intelligence and how it is calculated okay so uh, uh, in informed search I said earlier that is will be provided with some uh, information okay that and that information we call it as what heuristic that is will be provided with some information that information we call it as heuristic okay so this uh, the main uh, aim of uh, the main application of artificial intelligence is what problem solving right so uh, so this heuristic method they are designed to solve a problem more quickly okay more easier that is more quickly right so if you're applying the heuristic techniques to search algorithms what happened it is that at each branching step okay it evaluates the available information and based on that it makes a decision it makes a decision on that uh, on which which branch to follow like that okay so the main uh, aim of sorry uh, the why it is used in artificial intelligence is that uh, we need to get a good solution in a reasonable amount of time right we need to get a good solution and that is achieved by using heuristic method if you are applying heuristic if you are using heuristic techniques we will get a good solution in a reasonable amount of time okay but uh, this heuristic method it will not guarantee that we will get a good uh, sorry we will get an optimal solution optimal solution it is not guaranteed but we will get a good solution okay so uh, this heuristic method that is the calculation of heuristic so you know the distant uh, it is also called as um, what uh, distant uh, metrics or distance measures okay so this distance measures it plays a very important role in machine learning and all the distance is very important okay so this uh, two distances that is the calculation of heuristic that is it is uh, done by using euclidean distance and manhattan distance okay euclidean distance and manhattan distance let's see what is euclidean distance euclidean distance it represents the shortest distance between any two points shortest distance that is there will be a source and there will be a destination and this euclidean distance it calculates the shortest path between the two points between the source and destination it is nothing but it is a straight line distance okay euclidean distance means it is a straight line distance okay that is suppose uh, we have a start state here okay we have a start state here and the goal state is we have a goal state right so this euclidean distance it is the shortest path uh, connecting this two that is uh, uh, this two so uh, start state and goal state okay so this is a path uh, we can uh, we can go uh, we can move like this we can go like this right so say it is uh, we can mark the coordinates that is x1 say it is x1 y1 and it is x2 y2 okay x2 y2 okay this is our start state this is our goal state so euclidean distance it is a shortest path between the two points okay or it is it is a straight line distance so how it is calculated is that you know what is a straight line that is root of square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square likewise okay out of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay this is a straight line distance between the two coordinates that is x1 y1 and between two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 so obviously this will be the shortest path right straight line this will be the shortest path this path it will be longer and this path it will also be a long longer path so this is the shortest path so this is a euclidean distance okay and second is 
Manhattan distance okay Manhattan distance the definition is given that is sum of absolute differences okay sum of absolute differences between points across all the dimensions okay so, uh, I'll explain it with an example that is the um, Manhattan distance it is a sum of absolute differences between the points across all the dimensions let's see um, uh, I'll ex explain with an example that is a eight puzzle problem Okay, this is an uh, it passed problem. This is our goal state. Okay, this is our goal goal state. This is our start state. Okay, start state. It's our goal state. Okay, so we are going to uh, calculate the uh, Manhattan distance between uh, considering this. Okay, this start state. So. Uh, this is our goal state so see the uh, start state see the position of one in the start state and in the goal state okay the position is uh, same right position is same so no moment is required so just you put zero if no moment is required just you can put zero okay zero plus it is the sum of absolute differences between points across all the dimensions okay so that uh, uh, that is zero then see the position of two and uh, that is the goal state the position of two is here uh, but in the uh, start state it is different right the position is uh, different so we uh, we we need to move two okay we need to move two so we need to move uh, this two to the left right one position to the left so that is uh, one position to the left here uh, right so one position one movement is required so one movement is required okay that is you can put one here so zero plus one plus so two will come here and what about three three is here in the goal state three is here so we can move three to the right right one position to the right so one one position is taken okay then uh, what about the uh, five next is four right one three two three is over then next is four four the position is four is also uh, it is different so just we can move this uh, uh, this four to the what four to the left right one position to the left so one okay again five one position to the right what about six no difference right six no difference is there so you can put zero here okay then what about the position of seven uh, position of 7 is here in the goal state the start state it is here so you can just uh, move two position two movement is required so one to uh, two movement is required so you can put plus two right two movement is required one two by two one to the left then what about the position of eight eight is same no more uh, no change okay so likewise so what is it one uh, three four five six so total is uh, what six okay six is the manhattan distance in likewise you can calculate the manhattan distance that is it is the sum of absolute differences between points across all the dimensions here we are exploring one state only so you uh, in the next state in uh, you will explore what all the possible sorry all the uh, set of possible states that is you will move this uh most to the uh we will move this to the up uh, either to the left likewise you likewise you can explore all the possibilities in the eight puzzle and let's uh, you can calculate uh that heuristic uh, sorry manhattan distance uh, based on that state uh, and just compare all the uh manhattan uh, values that is here it is in uh, this is started here it is uh, calculated as manhattan distance is six next you can move this um, uh, gap to the left and let's see what is the difference
okay what is the difference in that uh, manhattan value so uh, you can select the uh, finally you can select the shortest uh, value okay uh, so in the next moment uh, you will get seven like, uh, like that uh, any value seven eight or nothing so you can just select the uh, minimum value minimum value that is minimum shortest distance that is what we needed right so likewise you can calculate the manhattan distance across all the state across that is it across all the dimensions okay so it is also this manhattan distance it is also known as city block distance okay so that is the uh, that is how the heuristic is calculated that is just uh, remember two methods uh, two methods that is euclidean distance and manhattan distance uh, so in competitive exams and all that uh, you will be provided with the heuristic value okay no need to calculate the heuristic value you will be provided with the heuristic value so but you have to know how it is the distance measures that is used in uh, measure learning and the distance metrics uh, okay euclidean distance Manhattan distance okay that is about the heuristic value so in remember by using this heuristic method uh, you will get a good solution uh, in a reasonable amount of time okay this uh, heuristic it will not guarantee that uh, we will get an optimal solution okay so this informed search techniques are you uh, check techniques will be provided with some information and that information we call it as heuristic and we are going to discuss about the uh, informed uh, search techniques informed search algorithm them that is best fest or greedy a star a o star like that okay that, that, that is informed uh, search algorithms in the upcoming videos okay thank you